Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my Christmas home decor tour for 2019. A lot of this is very similar so I will link last year's down below if you want to go and check that out as well. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off in the bedroom, not much has changed compared to last year's tour. I do have two Christmas duvet sets, both from Asda, and I alternate between the two throughout the month. So the white one that you would have seen with the red cars and trucks and the trees on top is in my Christmas decor haul video. I will insert a clip so you can see it as well. And then now I have the red one on and I really like this because it is super festive. But both of them are definitely my favorite as the do some great Christmas duvet sets that are really affordable as well. The garland at the top of the bed is the same one as last year from Poundland, except this year I've just added some Firefly wire lights from Primark just to give it a bit more of a cosier feel. Then the pillows on the bed are the same. The two red reindeer ones are from Primark years ago, and then the middle one is from Asda. And also the Disney Remy rat at the side of the cushion is from Disneyland Paris a few years ago. At the end of the bed is this beautiful warm grey Sherpa throw that I picked up from b and I grabbed this last year but I have seen this in stock this year too. On my side of the bed everything is in the same place except I have moved the tree that I DIY'd from the hallway up to the bedroom. So in the basket the sign and the tree are from a local shop near us and then the nutcracker is from Asda from the previous year. The tree is from Paper Chase and I just added this to this red wooden box which was a great find from Primark a few Christmases ago. The hallway I have made a few tweaks here and there but on the whole the garland on the banister is the same one from Poundland as well as the red light up star which is also from Poundland. The stockings are old from Wilco and then the red truck light up picture is from the range. In the space where the tree was I have this gorgeous new addition which is this light up sausage dog from B&Q this year that a friend very kindly bought me. Then the other deco piece that I added was this mat from Primark that I featured in my Christmas home decor haul. I love the burlap fabric as it's a bit more hard wearing than our previous one. And you guys, today I actually saw this mat was reduced to two pounds. So if you're looking for something similar, definitely snap it up. Then the red draft stopper is old from Tesco. Moving into the living room, I have added and taken away a few bits in here. However, everything on the TV unit is practically the same, minus two mini lanterns. So I will list down below where everything is from instead, as I did mention all of this in last year's Christmas tour. I did change up the ladder shelf though and I added these white houses that I bought from B&M on the top of the shelf to create this winter scene and I absolutely love how this turned out. Then the green tree on the other shelf is old from Wilco. And down below that we have a new Bath and Body Works candle that we picked up in Singapore called Twisted Peppermint. On the footstool I added the Christmas Disney throw from Primark this year that I featured in my decor haul. Then on the chair I saw this cute sausage dog Christmas throw that was only £6 from Asda. Then the large check cushion is from m and last year 
and the sausage dog toy is old from Wilco. On our sofa all the cushions and throw are exactly the same as previous years but one thing I did add this year was this gingerbread squish mallow that I spoke about in my recent Christmas cleaning video. I will put that video down below if you haven't checked it out but what I can tell you is this gingerbread Sully is obsessed with he loves sitting on it and it's just so soft and comfortable. I grabbed this from Audi and it was only $6.99 and there was lots of different characters. This particular gingerbread lady is called Gina but I explained everything in my cleaning video and also if you do need a bit of cleaning motivation then definitely go and check out that video as well. Okay, next to the sofa is our real Christmas tree, which I did a whole entire Decorate With Me video on this year. So if you would like to see a step-by-step -step process on how we decorated the tree, then I will also link that video down below as well. Lastly on the coffee table I changed up the gold tray this year and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So the white house is again from B&M and the car is from a local store by us. Then the red checked coasters are from Home Bargains and all of this I featured in my Christmas decor haul. Everything else is old, but I will link the rest down below. Then next to the tray is this candle that is from Yankee Candle, and this is called Snow in Love. The final place I like to decorate is the kitchen, and especially the coffee corner. Much of what you see is the same again this year. I just took away the large glass jars which we had with marshmallows and candy canes in and we now have this acrylic drawer for our coffee pods. So on here I decided to just add the wooden Merry Christmas sign that I had last year. This is old from Home Sense and another one of those red trucks which I had in the living room with the tree on. Everything else I will list down below, but I will just show you our Disney cup and saucers again, as I do get people ask me where they are from. So we actually picked these up from the Disney store at Disneyland Paris a few years ago and we absolutely love the size of these for coffees and things like that but I'm not sure if they are still available or you would be able to get them on the online Disneyland Paris shop but if I do find them I will definitely link them down below. On the oven I bought a new oven glove from Asda that I featured in my recent haul. I love the red check as it fits in nicely with the farmhouse feel I was going for. Then on the top of the cupboards, if you'd see my clean with me, I added some more of the Poundland garland and decorated it to complement the rest of the garlands around the house and just the overall colour scheme. Most of the decoration is from Poundland bar the ribbon which I picked up in our local craft store. Then on the kitchen sink I put this foaming hand wash from Bath and Body Works in spruce and on the windowsill I have two Yankee candles in Merry Marshmallow and Christmas Cookie. To finish in Sully's Corner I added the new red candy cane mat I got from Asda and then yesterday I found this cute bowl from House of Fraser for Sully's turkey Christmas dinner. We also keep all of our advent calendars over this side, including Sully's one that I got him in Wilco. He has absolutely loved opening this up each day. This one. Ooh, 
hang on, hang on. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you for all your support over 2019. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I'm wishing you a very Merry Christmas and an even more amazing 2020. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.